trending news. Corruption must be fought by the government and it shouldn't be a matter of do it today and leave it tomorrow. Former President Ulushe Gnoba Sanjo has urged the federal government to sign the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. Gnoba Sanjo made the call at the ongoing 2019 Africa Export Import Bank on Thursday in Russia. He said that Nigeria had no justification reason for not signing the agreement as countries like Eritrea, Niger, and even Benin that were our neighbors had signed. I don't think that there is any confusion in this. I was talking to somebody in government in Nigeria not long ago. He said that we would be like a sleeping giant. And when a sleeping giant wakes up, he will surprise everybody. I believe that we have enjoyed the time of delay, but of course, we have not, you have no choice than to sign it. I do hope that sincerely, before the former inauguration in Niamey on July 7 and 18, that Nigeria would not be absent at the launching area because I see no reason why Nigeria can be present when it has not signed the agreement letter. If you heard the statement of Nigerian's parliament secretary, you have nothing in a statement more beautiful than that. But he is not a policy maker. He is a policy executor. Now, we will go home and tell policy makers that he has made the right statement and it's now right for action. I hope after he says that, they will follow through, he said. According to Obasanjo, Nigerian supposedly did, did the AFCTA negotiation, negotiation, sorry to say, from Egypt with a Nigerian minister actually leading the negotiation. He said, unfortunately, while that negotiation was going on, the type of cons consultation that should have gone on with trade unions, manufacturers association of Nigeria, chambers of commerce and civil society did not go on. Government is the only facilitator person, but the, pers the people who will rely or who will really make it work are the private sector operators, but they are not carried along. When Nigerian came back, the cabinet endorsed it, but when it was presented to the private sector, they were asking what it was all about. The other day I was in Yiddish Ababa on this same issue, the trade unions, ma'am, and chambers of commerce were there and they all said that they are now fully informed and now fully on board. It is now left for the government to do the late full by signing the agreement, he said. On corruption, Oberson just said that it was not defined only when money, when money, goods and services are involved. While listing nepotism, condoning what is bad and lack of physical discipline as a form of corruption. He said that corruption and development were not compatible. Therefore, corruption should be ensured to ensure development made significant program or progress. The former president Obasanjo urged that Corruption should be consistently fought for, adding that it must not be a matter of do it today and leave it tomorrow. It must be a matter of where you have secret, where you have secret cows, but comprehensive and all inclusive. Meanwhile, Mr. Gabriel Aduda, 
the permanent secretary politics and economic affairs office of the security and office of the secretary to the government of the federation said that the country would soon sign the AFCTA. According to him, if we do not work hard to ensure that a few protective steps are put in place, what will likely what we will likely end up with which is a dumping ground which is what they do not want in Nigeria. With time Nigeria is going to sign it. We have to do like what China did when and even with the World Trade Agreement, they gave a condition and that is what we are going to do. And you have to look at the size of your market. We do not expect a country like Nigeria to be given the same size of cake with a country like the Gambia. Even though we are all in Africa, it does not work like that because Gambia is just like a local government in Nigeria. We need to understand how these things work. And we should also understand one thing, that behind all these trade issues in barriers, the policies, the rules and everything are the big players behind the masquerades who are the former colonial masters. You cannot just go ahead and enter into an agreement with neighboring nations without looking at who is standing behind that nation, how you are going to protect yourself. Even though we need a free and fair deal, but how also do we protect ourselves to ensure that we do not just become a dumping ground? This are something are some of the issues we are looking at at the moment absolutely we are coming back to the table to say this is what we want thank you viewers for listening to this news this is a good um article from a good writer Obasanjo said Obasanjo Obasanjo has said it all. Imagine the way the country is going. The country is now in a mess because of the because of the government and the new president that that is acting as President Momodu Buhari. An impostor in Asurok is the one causing all this mayhem in Nigeria. Nigerians are facing challenges. This person, this impostor that called himself President Mamadou Buhari, he is the one destroying this country. Jibril is the one behind everything that is happening in Nigeria I see no reason why should Buhari if truly is Buhari is it that is in Asoro I see no reason why Buhari should be this atlas never Buhari can never be this atlas is it not because of the way he ruled Nigeria in 2015 till 2019 that made Nigerians, that made, uh, that made other tribes, and um, and the Northerners, even as Nigerian, to vote for him because of his good deed and concern. If this was or is the character of President Momodu Buhari, or was the character of President Momodu Buhari, then, then they wouldn't have supported him. But this is very obvious. It is very obvious that this is Jibril and not Buhari. Buhari is not as this wicked. Buhari is a disciplined man and not a theft and not a thief and not a looter like the one sitting 
on the seats of presidency. So, viewers, what is your take on this news? If you have any comments, don't hesitate to cut, touch your uh, to go, go drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive notifications whenever I publish new videos. And don't forget share and like this news as well. Thank you.